hit different, don't it? It hit different, cuz. What up, this your boy Boston. Welcome back to the channel, man. This is part seven to the fish room rebuild. But the last video, you guys seen me get all this stuff set up. These tanks down here running, everything is looking phenomenal. But today, what we're gonna be working on is we're gonna be adding lights, just like I added lights running down this whole other side. We're gonna be adding shop lights running down all the way down here, so that way everything looks good and seamless. And then we're also going to get all these aquariums set back up in this video too. We'll be bringing down my 60 gallon aquarium, and that's going to be going right here. And then we're gonna be bringing down the 30 six gallon boat front that has the exodons and i can't wait to get the exodons in the fish room so you know probably if i got some time i probably end up putting up a backdrop just like i got over here and we'll close off that back portion back there and then we'll close all this off and make it look really clean i appreciate all the continued support if you're new around here make sure you got hit that like button make sure you got subscribe to the channel man we do dope stuff over here we're trying to inspire and motivate the people man i definitely appreciate you guys all the positive comments i love it it keeps me motivated it keeps me going but enough of me talking Let's Let's get to work. Let's get these lights put up so we can get these tanks set up and get these fish back in and get it cracking, man. So let's get to it. We got the first light up. It's looking great. It's already making all this so much brighter and that's what I really wanted. I wanted all this to be bright. That way I eventually don't have to use these two spotlights and I can just illuminate the whole room off of these lights. Woo! That's two lights up. Look at how illuminated that looks, man. Wait till that aquarium sitting right there. It's gonna look phenomenal. Won't be able to see none of these cords because the tank will be covering that. Then we'll put a backdrop that looks great got about three more to do y'all y'all see man we got four of them boys uh it's looking good talking about seamless running all the way down looking good so you see we finally got all the lights is up it's looking really good really bright to just illuminate the whole room even better that was kind of tedious to get that done now we can start working on some tanks so we're gonna start with this aquarium right here we're gonna get it cleaned up get all this algae off the glass put some new substrate in it get water in 60 gallon i will probably be bringing this down here in the morning and then these other 330 gallons we're gonna get these cleaned up water in running looking good let me start cleaning this get the things going and let's get it cracking This thing is moving so much water. <laughs> I'm talking about a lot of water is being moved in here. This thing is going to be crystal clear. I'm talking about clear. All right, guys, so we didn't warped into the night, but as you can see, we finally got the tanks all up and running. And just look at this view of the fish room right now. Like the fish room has never been this bright. You can see all the way to the back of the fish room perfectly fine without even having that light on so that's amazing the 45 gallon is looking really really good got these tanks all up and running these tanks are going to be for like quarantines and like grow out tank and then this sterling gallon over here it's got all my south american cichlids in here like fire miles convicts texas cichlids we got rainbow cichlids 36 gallon both front set back up i took all the hardscape out that driftwood that's down there and some rocks and just this tank is literally just going to be for plants like we got our red devil jack dempsey um, i don't know if you can see them but our pike sickle is hiding down there and these shellies are looking amazing if anybody can let me know in the comment section where can i get some shells from because i can't find none locally but if you guys know where i can get some shells from to put on this side of the scape let me know 
We got our baby Africans down here doing good, our hung guys. And I think we got one baby zebra. Yeah, there you go. But these guys are pretty much being ready to uh, sell. So if you guys want to buy these from me, uh, let me know. I cut you a really good deal now. But this tank is doing amazing. I went ahead at the tiger barbs in there. You see the tiger barbs in there swimming, looking good. I still want to plant this some more. We got horn in here floating around. This tank is already taken up. You can see all the duckweed up top, the horn work. It's definitely taking off. Still gonna plant some. This is like a bunch of like little dwarf like carpet type of plant. I'm not exactly sure what size, what kind it is, but hopefully this start carpeting and taking over. But I definitely gonna add some different type of plants to this aquarium. But I am gonna pick up a bunch of more bristle noses and I grow a bunch of more snails. So I'm gonna have snail breeding, bristle noses, and these black moscows in this tank. So that should be amazing once it gets there. I end up adding the VA high to this 55 gallon aquarium. So there's three VA highs in here. And let's try not to start them because they still getting adjusted, but you can see how beautiful he is in here. I did bring these guys, and so I don't know if I showed these yet, but these are my orange um, swordtail mollies. That's the female back there. They are a pus, but I had these guys outside all summer, and they were doing it. Look at that male back there. There you go. You can see him. See that nice sword on him. But these guys were outside all summer, and they did fairly well. They did have some offspring, so we got a couple generations. So I brought them in guys in here with a bunch of horn work and I had some cherry shrimp outside too that we brought inside. So I mean everything is looking good. Hopefully they can take off and do a lot better in here, but we will see. This tank over here, man, like look how crystal clear it is right now. It's just, it's beautiful. This is the African cichlid uh, tank. And this is the 72 gallon in. By far, this is my favorite tank down here right now. I still need to add like a background. I think I said that already, but I need to add a background to it. But this is by far my favorite tank so far in my fish room. It's beautiful. Mike, your front toast is doing really good, healthy. He's loving the new aquarium. All right, y'all. So y'all seen we just got the 60 gallon down here. It's looking good. Looking nice I and. Can't even get in there. I know. So hey, this one last night I was trying to do this one. I'm talking about hard. What you think of my uh my lights, man? I'm, I got the architect here now. What you think, man? How would I do you? <laughs> 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 he said, "All right, he did, all right it ain't better than this one, huh?" That's seamless. Dude, this this definitely seamless, man. But this one, I mean, it looked good. It looked good. It look good though. It look good. It look good. It look good. It just ain't seamless like yours, it just huh? Ain't. I mean, it, it's good. He OCD, so you know. I'm OCD. <laughs> everything got to be perfect for him. I'm like that too, good, but not though. that, not that much. It's hit different, don't it? It hit different, cuz nothing compares. No tank, no fish compares to Africa. None. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm filling up the 36 gallon. I got the exodons. We're filling that tank back up. But while that's filling up, we are going to add our angelfish back to this 45 gallon. I went to the pet store today, actually, and I uh, seen some wild discus. I was thinking about getting some wild discus. We can have wild discus in here with the angelfish. I think that'd be dope. Um, if I can find me a nice proven breeding pair, we in the game. I used to have a nice breeding pair of some blue angels. Those guys were awesome, but um, I haven't had a chance to get any proven. That's why I got five of these guys, and they're different. And that may be why they're not breeding or even pairing off it, but I would think they will at least pair off. You know, we can get like some mutt going some mutt angels going but hopefully i can find some proven breeders out there if you guys got any proven breeders you want to let them go let me know because i'll definitely buy them from you i'm gonna let this tank fill up and then once it's full We'll come back and get it planted again. Get the, I got a long pothole that should run the length of both of these tanks. 
uh, get the lighting hooked up, get the filtration running, and then we're gonna be getting the fish in, so stay tuned. But I got some more of these little tablecloths that I use to do the background for this side. We're gonna be doing the same thing, running down all the way here, and then that back wall back there, so. Seamless, can't even see. Now I probably only need about maybe two more, to be honest, because these uh, tablecloths are like nine feet long. They're super long, so one running right there, maybe one, and then I'll probably wrap the other one around to kind of like connect over there back in that back corner. ahead and added this pothos plant up there it's looking good i got it starting over here in this tank with a nice roof structure and the rest of it's running through this one next i'm gonna add i got this aquarium lily look like a pond lily like it is crazy and it has split into like two plants actually All right, we finally got the tank set up. It's still very murky, um, but you can see all the fish are in there swimming. Added some nice plants in there. There's some bow in the background, some cribs up here, and it's beautiful aquarium lily. And then over here, we got the, some more cribs, and then that's some regular jungle bow. And you can see all the fish in there swimming. The geos are probably back there hiding, but everybody is going to be out and about. Got the Pop those in the aquarium. It's looking crazy. Where are all these angel fish at? Oh yeah, there they go. They out chilling. Definitely gonna be getting some more, or maybe like a couple of angel uh, discus is going here with them. I think that'd be dope. But the pop those is running all the way down. Got this aquarium lead that's like already at the top, looking crazy. It's running all the way over here to this tank. So eventually we start getting some roots down here, and then it can run all the way down. But man, the fish room is coming together. Man, it's looking amazing. Got the exodons in their tank over here, still very murky, but uh, it will eventually clear up and look really good. But I need to move the substrate back around, replant some of the stuff. And uh, but by the morning, by the next time you see my next video, this tank will be crystal clear and the exodons will be out swimming. Look at this guy, look how beautiful he looks right now. And I'm starting to think this is a female, to be honest, because I should have a nuclear hunt by now. So I think that might be a female. Well, we got our other cichlids, our dovi, our pike, which is actually getting really, really big. A lot bigger in person than it is on camera. Same thing with these two jacks, looking dope. I would hope and wish they would breed, but who knows? That red devil just pops so crazy on this uh, substrate. These Africans are in here looking crazy. Look at the colors, man. But I hope you guys are enjoying this little fish room series. It's definitely been very rewarding. Um, we only got a little bit more to do. We gotta still put, move the 120, get that set up, and then we need to build the monster pond on the other side of the fish room um, for our monster fish. And then we can just sit back, relax, and really just enjoy fish and make some cool content again. I can get back to making my daily vlogs and just doing different stuff down here in the fish room. But like I said, that's pretty much be the end of today's video. The next video will probably be a uh, swap tour. I'm going to a swap locally. So if you're in the Quad City area, I will see you there. Say what's up. Um, we'll definitely be at the swap. Do a nice tour. That's, that should be super cool. You guys should definitely enjoy that video. But that's pretty much it, man. I'm out of here. I'll catch you guys in my next video.